this is Hen and Chicken Court, and at 186 Fleet Street, which is the shop next door, was where Sweeney Todd had his famous barber shop. In 1785, a story appeared in the newspapers about a poor fellow who had his throat slit, and apparently he had last been seen talking to a barber. Now, Sweeney Todd, he had a chair that tilted back, and they went down, I think it's 17 feet into the basement and generally broke their necks. Now, Sweeney Todd was born in Brick Lane and he actually did a stretch at Newgate Prison for theft. And when he was in there, he got a job as a soap boy working for the prison barber. And after he got out, he opened up a few barber shops. Yeah, there was a tunnel. It used to go under here, all the way along to, I think it's where you see the Bank of England pie shop. And that's where Marjorie Lovett, his lover, had a pie shop. And they used to... Yeah, yeah. They'd cart them off to a tunnel down to Bell Yard where Marjorie, Sweeney Todd's girlfriend, would then chop them up and serve them up in a delightful pie. There is a pie shop right here, but I've tried their pies and they're very good, so uh, there's no dead bodies in there. But they got tipped off as the smell was coming up from this passageway underneath. So they started watching the barber shop and this fella called Francis Thornhill went in and he didn't come out. So they went inside and they found the clothes of 160 people inside the barber shop. Yeah. 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 Good. In 1802, it took a jury 10 minutes to find Sweeney Todd guilty, and in an ironic twist of fate, they hanged him, and his body was given to medical science where they cut him up. You're about to do the same to me, are you? No, no, I wouldn't dream of such a thing. I've just eaten. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to eat a pie. <laughs>